Today from r slash just no mother-in-law. Mother-in-law and the overly dramatic Christmas. So I got volunteered to host Christmas this year. Eight months pregnant with a few complications including high blood pressure. We told everyone that if you're sick, you can't attend because my health is more important than Christmas. Mother-in-law actually volunteered to do it, but she is lazy as hell and just threw it all back onto me to do. So I've spent the last 24 hours pretty much on my feet non-stop to create an amazing meal for 18 people while mother-in-law naps. She was awake for five hours this morning and did nothing but complain the whole time about cleaning the house. She keeps coming up to me, demanding to know when I'm going to mop the floor or clean the bathroom while I'm cooking. After spending $700 on groceries, accommodating everyone's allergies, and dietary requirements. She expects us to hand over $50 per child as well. The children are 20, 18, 16, 15, 10, and eight. When I pointed out I spent $700 on groceries and that was my gift to everyone, she threw a fit because it's not the kid's fault I spent so much on food. When I say, oh well, I can't afford to spend $50 on everyone. She transfers my husband the money for everyone's gifts. Classic mother-in-law manipulation. Today my brother-in-law tells us his oldest child, the 10-year-old, is sick. He has a cold. My husband asks him not to come if his family is sick. It's a week before Christmas, and given my complications, I really don't need to be getting sick at all. So brother-in-law goes to mother-in-law. Mother-in-law basically whinges that we are ruining Christmas by not allowing brother-in-law to come. That it's not the kid's fault he is sick and we should just deal with it. She says she's not taking sides though and goes to her room and sulks that we are ruining Christmas. She wakes up at 5 p.m. and by 7 p.m. she is complaining that she's so tired she can't do anything else and goes back to bed, leaving me with the cleanup and the rest of the house to sort out before people arrive tomorrow. I'm just so done with it all, it's ridiculous. I told my husband that mother-in-law has to move out after Christmas. I'm done with her crap. Next year, I'm not attending any Christmas crap. I'm going to focus on my family and making our Christmas special. I'm starting to hate Christmas because of the way his family behaves. I just can't do it anymore.